All right, so I'm back to the studio today. I'm waiting for my friend Shai to come over so we can do some large format photography, but we're not gonna be doing much. I just want to shoot two, maybe four sheets of film. And guess what? I'm gonna mess up one, at least one, okay? I hope that doesn't happen. But anyway, if it does happen, this is large format for you. you got 101 million ways to mess it up. So what are we gonna be doing? Shai is a very, very photogenic kind of guy and he's got great tattoos and great personality, great face in front of the camera. It's one of those guys you never can take a bad shot of. And uh, so we're gonna be going with only one main light and uh, maybe a background light. As you can see in the back there, it's white seamless background, but I want that seamless background to go black because I'm using, you know, FP4. So ISO 100, F11 at 125th of a second. So this scene is gonna be completely black anyway, but I don't want it to be completely black. I don't want him to be in a deep, I mean, I don't want him to be in front of a deep black background. So for that reason, I got my LN Chrome 21 centimeter or seven inch uh, reflector here with the grid. And I'm gonna skim that light past there and a little bit that's gonna go on the side inverse square law so I'm gonna get a little bit of light just touching that background to give me the shade of gray that I need and my main light is gonna be another Ellen Chrome uh, modifier and this one is gonna be a beauty dish and this beauty dish here as you can see I got a diffusion here as well and I got the deflector in there you know the light coming hits and spread it out and it comes through the diffusion then I have you know a grid as well because I don't want all of that light to hit him just want a little bit of it and uh, for what I can actually visualize because Shai got a very very nice jawline I want that light to be above here and it create a shadow down here but I don't want the shadow to be very very deep hence the reason why I'm diffusing it and even the the grid is gonna spread that light a little bit so the edge of his jawline shadow on his chest is gonna be slightly feathered out as well and uh, so basically that's it and a little bit of catch light into the into the eyes so basically that's it so if I was shy this is what I would be right here you know that's gonna be his position and I'm gonna be firing from there so I can hear him just coming now so let's get ready get this show on the road because of the setup that yeah that's all right but you just have the light is hitting your hand too hard hand. yeah you see how bright your hand is there yeah. yeah i don't want that to be that bright so instead of going there maybe go down here yeah so that's it perfect hold that firm those eyes a little bit firm the eyes a little bit yeah I like it. You know. yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, and then you see what I like the most about I really it? Like it. Do you know what I like the most about it? That line going across there. Yeah, <laughs> so I like that a lot. Okay, and it's like a mysterious guy. Yeah. This is my favorite All right, man, let's do that on a film, okay? So, sweet. Right, I'm gonna need this and where did I put the focusing hood focusing is here uh, I need the film okay we messed around a few few shots to get that over here dude we got only yeah, that Because the reproduction ratio is gonna be so huge because I'm filling you with the screen completely. Okay. Yeah. 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 So everything that we do yeah. is gonna be just below your elbows. Yeah. But I move back here. So I'm gonna lift you up just about right here. Okay. So. Nice. 
I love that shot. And then you know what? You see these things that I do, sir? I wait till I win the lotto, then I'm up. Read that one. <laughs> I'm buying you that thing if you yeah. that's